Uh, hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at the new Unity 6.1 release. So what's new, what's exciting about it. But before we get into that, we're actually going to have a look at how these new releases are actually done. So um, there's quite a bit of a change here. So first of all, 6.0 was the major long-term release, so LTS, with over two years of support. Then we've got 6.1 and 6.2, which are now smaller updates. And then 6.3 is the next major LTS release with another two years of support. So yeah, it's a bit confusing. Um, I don't think this was really announced this way originally. Um, it seemed to be quite different, to be honest. I think they kind of boasted 6.1 would be the big next big update, um, and it really isn't, and we'll get into that. So 6.1 is not a new LTS release. It's just part of the same you know long-term support as 6.0 is having so now that we've got this new release support out of the way let's have a look at what's actually inside of this release so we're going to start off with improved performance um, one of the bigger ones for urp at least uh, is the new deferred plus rendering um, which uses gpu for improved performance again um, one of the many uh, many features basically that is moving to GPU instead of CPU. Um, Unity has always been really CPU heavy in the past and there's more and more is being pushed to the GPU now which is a good thing um, you know that was one of the things Unity was lacking in. Um, again depends on what you release this on so for mobile for example you wouldn't automatically assume that's an advantage but yeah we'll uh, get into mobile a bit later. So next we've got variable rate shading. Um, this is a really nice one. So improved performance for both textures and shaders using the GPU again um, in both URP and HDRP. So at least one feature, uh, one big performance feature that is not just for URP. Um, so yeah, nice to see there for those developing for PC and console. Then the next up is they're targeting a wider audience. So we've got uh, improved support and new support for large screen and foldable devices. Um, again, this is mobile focused, of course, and it's nice to see this. There's more and more foldable devices. Um, but I don't think the market is that big yet that this was seen as really lacking. Um, but yeah, still really good to see. Um, we've got Unity for web. So like the name suggests, um, it's better performance for web releases um, using new web GPU graphics. This is really nice. I know a lot of people actually are interested in doing this, so good to see that. Um, we've got instant games on Facebook and Facebook Messenger. Um, improved Android XR and MetaQuest performance in URP, um, which makes a lot of sense um, if you're developing for VR in general, you'll most likely be using URP. HRP just isn't really built for that. Um, We've got improved CPU performance for PC and console because of Direct uh, X12 support, um, which most likely means that when they say console, they do mean uh, Xbox specifically. So yeah, a, lo a lot of performance stuff here, which is really nice, um, but most of this performance stuff is URP only though, um, and mostly mobile focused or you know lightweight focused. So if you're interested in that, really nice update. But, there is no mesh lot um, like was originally promised in the video um, and that is now currently in 6.2 alpha um, it is actually working really well um, i do think it's a feature that is actually working as promised so mesh lot is basically unity's alternative to nanite um, which i think is a good thing uh, nanite actually has quite a lot of compromise um, which is you know getting better and better but there's still a lot of compromise so I'm actually glad unity is going a different way um, for those who don't know so mesh lot automatically creates LODs for any model you import um, could be a skin mesh uh, could be a normal mesh um, and then of course like how uh, lots work it will switch between those uh, apparently it's doing that quite a bit better as well so really nice but again it's not in 6.1, it's only in 6.2 alpha as a first release, uh, which means that, you know, it could be in 6.2 officials release or could, you know, actually get into 6.3 as an official release. So yeah, a bit of a shame that we have to wait for that. That was the big next big thing 
um, that we were looking forward to. Um, so yeah, shame to see that. Now, of course, there's a lot of big features still coming, but most of those are really for the next gen release or however they're going to call that. Um, they might, you know, steer away from going straight to seven now, um, the way this roadmap is looking. So should you update? Um, this is a tricky one. Uh, on the one hand, so little has changed that if you're already using Unity 6 and you're afraid it could break something, I don't really see a need to update unless you're really focused on um, VR mobile. And then fair enough, if that's what you're targeting. If you're targeting PC uh, console, I don't really see a need to update at all. Uh, on the other hand, there's so little that has changed that I highly doubt this is going to break anything. Like so far from what I've seen, I didn't see it break anything. Um, and it kind of makes sense because so very little has actually changed. So yeah, that does, you know, does seem encouraging to update. Just do a little backup, um, see if anything breaks. If anything breaks, it doesn't seem worth it. But if nothing breaks, great, you're on the newer model and you know, that's it. So yeah, that's a, a short video. Um, it really is much shorter than I hoped it would be. I really hoped we would be looking at Mashlot right now and yeah, it's a shame that, you know, that is taking a bit longer than anticipated. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.